So we have ourselves a bit of a challenge here. Somebody that was climbing this oak tree left a carabiner and a sling up in the tree. Let's try and retrieve it. I brought a blue rope, a rock climbing harness, and a rope burner pro. I would love to get my rope up to the crotch that the strap is in, but if I can't, I'll have to climb up uh, one section at a time, which will be more difficult. But we'll try the rope ball throwing method first. Oh, uh, yeah, not even close. It's much easier to throw a throw line, obviously. Leave a comment. Do you have a technique for throwing a rope? All right, I got my crotch in mind there. What do you mean by that? But too low. It's one last try. I can't use a basal anchor since I'm by myself, so I need to tie a canopy, canopy anchor up there so I can untie it from the tree. This limb here. All right, now we have that one stem isolated, all clipped in. Definitely not as comfortable as the monkey beaver harness, but much, much lighter. I'm gonna do some good old hip thrusting here. <laughs> Branch. All right, what's the next move here? I'll use the tail of this rope to tie myself in, and then I will untie the canopy anchor. These trees look so different with foliage on them. Last time I was up here, they looked like skeletons. Taking the Rope Runner Pro apart, I always like to push the pins all the way through just to make sure that it'll stay together. It looks like it's gonna fall apart, but it's not. <laughs> Pretty cool device. I know it's kind of a controversial device because the spring sometimes it doesn't engage. I had that problem a couple months ago, but I contacted Notch and they said I should just clean the rope runner and oil it. And I haven't had any problems with it since. So the spring became springy once again after a nice deep clean and there's a little hole on the rope runner that you can squirt oil into. The wear patterns on the rope runner, it's very interesting. Cause if you look on your rope runner, the pulley does the most of the work for as far as friction goes. That's where the deepest dish is, so that's where the most friction is created. I wanna to toss my rope over that limb up there. Oh man, very bad angle. I like these puzzles because when you set yourself restrictions like one rope, one climbing system, no extra lanyard, it's kind of more satisfying to get to your goal than it would be if you just shot a line up and climbed right up. I'm going to reposition and Try throwing at a different angle. This is a really comfortable crotch to stand in. We're standing in this nice crotch here. And the next checkpoint is that crotch right there. Our goal is to get the carabiner that somebody left up in the tree. That's about maybe five, 10 feet above my head. We're in this beautiful oak tree. <sighs> Retrieving a local arborist sling and carabiner. It even looks like a triple locking carabiner, so hopefully we can get it back to the rightful owner. The rope bounced off the backboard, but didn't go in. I think it's always better to tell yourself that whatever task you're about to do or whatever tree you're about to climb is going to be easier than you think it is, and then your mind doesn't put up any unnecessary blockages. Oh yes, that one was so good. It's up to the crotch. Now it's just a matter of flicking that thing down. Oh yeah, just the right amount of weight. Got this stick in the way. Yo, yo. It's a nice summer day, but it's not too hot. I'm up here tying my freaking knot to tie it on and cinch it tight. We're gonna be up in this oak all night. Deep breath in and deep breath out. I smell some bacon like a little piggy snout. Gonna untie from this other cinch. I don't wanna get my fingers pinched. And we're all tied in. 100%. I'm steaming up here like a vent. That's enough rhyming for today. Could just climb up the freaking rope, but it's more fun to do it like this. Chimney climb it. Oh, I don't think I trust that piece of dead wood. Whoa, it's pretty solid. Wow, I could use that the foothold. And we made it to the strap. Oops, not a photo. Dun, dun. And we made it to the goal, the strap that somebody left in this tree. That's where we came from. And this is the canopy. Look how cool this is. I wanna do a traverse challenge going from this tree through these trees all the way to the end probably like 50 to 60 feet 
all the way to the end. Nice traverse challenge. What a cool tree. I wonder how long it's been here. This is almost a brand new carabiner. Look at how new that is. It has almost no wear and tear on it. It does look like there's mud inside or something. So this is our hole. Oh, there's some black tape on it. Black tape, I wonder who does that? It might be somebody that I know. This is the strap, a somewhat new Rock Exotica oval carabiner. Let's see, how many kilonewtons is this rated for? I don't see. Warning, unsafe without expert instructions. Oh, there it is, 27 kilonewtons for this green strap. If this is your carabiner and sling, send me a message and let me know where this park is and I will get that pack to you.